In today's episode of Food Basics Reinvented, I'm gonna show you how to make an incredible and easy to make Italian herb bread that smells amazing and absolutely delicious. Stay tuned. To make the dough for the most amazing Italian herb bread, start with a 320 ml of water. Check that the temperature of water you're using ranges somewhere between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, add 553 gram of all-purpose flour to the stand mixer bowl. Then add 36 gram of sugar, followed by one tablespoon of dried basil, one tablespoon of dried thyme, six gram of quick rice yeast, and 10 gram of salt give the dry ingredients a good mix using a spatula or a whisk. If you are mixing by hand, dump the dry ingredients on the work surface, make a well in the middle, and then add the wet ingredients. If you're gonna use a stand mixer like me, make a mountain and then add the wet ingredients on the perimeter. Add the water, followed by 24 gram of extra virgin olive oil. Now attach the dough hook to the stand mixer and start mixing on low speed for 2 minutes until the dough comes together and form a ball. Then raise the speed to medium high and knead for 5 minutes until the dough becomes consistent and stretchy. If you're gonna use the stand mixer bowl for anything else, you can use it for fermenting the dough and clean it when you're done baking. But today, I'm using the glass bowl to show you how the dough will look like after fermentation. Freeze the bowl with a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil to prevent the dough from sticking get the dough out of the stand mixer bowl and check that it has become stretchy. This means that the gluten has developed and your bread will have an amazing texture after baking. Make a dough ball with your hand, place it in the glass bowl and grease it with the olive oil from all sides to prevent it from sticking, pat it down and then cover it with plastic wrap. Leave the dough to ferment for 2 hours or until at least doubled in size. During this time, Brush a large size bread baking pan with extra virgin olive oil. The oil will prevent the bread from sticking to the baking pan and will give the bread an amazing crust. After two hours, deflate the dough. Get it out of the bowl. As you can see, the dough I made today has doubled in size beautifully. Thank you yeast, you've made an amazing job fermenting my dough and I hope you have enjoyed the taste of this bread too. Now, watch this part carefully because it's very important. Place the dough on the work surface, then flatten it with your hand. Fold it on itself, stretch from the sides and then fold it again from the right and left. Now, flatten again and you will get a perfect rectangle. Roll it towards yourself to make a cylinder and then pinch it from the end and not from the sides. And this, my friends, is how professional bakeries roll the handmade gourmet bread. Place the rolled dough in a baking pan and pat a little with your fingers to get rid of any air pockets. Once you've done that, cover the pan with a plastic wrap and leave it in a warm place to re-ferment again until the dough touches the plastic wrap. It could take an hour or maybe an hour and a half depending on the temperature and humidity in your kitchen. Once the dough is ready, Carefully uncover it and bake for 35 minutes on a 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven. After 35 minutes, get the baking pan out of the oven and voila! You have just made an incredible Italian herb bread. I have got to tell you guys, this bread made my entire kitchen smell amazing. Get the bread of the baking pan and let it cool down on a cooling rack for at least one hour before slicing. But because this bread smells amazing and I'm so hungry, I just waited 15 minutes and then started slicing. The bread is still warm and of course hard to slice without breaking, but hey, who doesn't love a freshly baked warm bread? Look at this, it's so soft and airy. I'm sure this bread wouldn't even need showing. You can enjoy this bread with any kind of topping you can think of. But let me share with you today how I like to eat this bread and enjoy a true Italian experience. In a deep dish, pour some extra virgin olive oil, then add a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. 
season with some sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now, let's dip the bread in this delicious mix. Wow! Seriously guys, this is one of the most delicious appetizers I've ever had in my whole life. The herbs in the bread smell amazing. The bread is so soft and simply melts in my mouth. The taste of this bread, when combined with the olive oil and balsamic vinegar dip, is not from this world. I hope you like this episode. Please try this recipe and tell me your opinion in the comments below or on Food Basics Reinvented Facebook and Instagram pages. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bon appétit!